Again, love the furry of the live and for calling. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate every single one of you. And I've seen some familiar faces from Friday, so that is awesome. Um, anyone who just came out to me over the weekend and said either they were feeling great after the session Friday or has been to a firm Equinox panel, thank you so much. You have overwhelmed me and ripped with all the compliments, and uh, we've just been so, so grateful for just uh, the reaction and everything. So um, we love you guys, and we do this because we're not only passionate about yoga, but we want to uh, teach, motivate, and inspire, which I call the Catholic way. So um, please, uh, if you guys have any questions, if you're struggling at all, please adjust to the way that your body uh, works. If you want any advice, uh, me and Rick will be here after session to show people some extra moves that they're struggling with, or any dieting advice, and as well as you can approach us throughout the rest of the time and on social media, which uh, Rick is at Rick Wing Designs, and I am at Buzz Cabot, and we're both that on all social media, so uh, check us out. Um, I can't do all the moves with the mic, but I'll try to stand near the mic as much as I can. And I will so, demonstrate. And uh, Rick's going to demonstrate as much as I can, but I'm also going to get into it. I kind of need to work out myself. So, all right, so um, how we start off always, or at least what I do, I like to call this, and here's the thing. So the beauty about yoga is no matter what you do, whether it's hot yoga, DDPY, uh, this yoga or any yoga, it's all basically the same, it's just we change our fundamentals and the names change, but everything's the same. So uh, you may hear some, if you're if you're out of in the yoga verse like Rick has, I like to change the names up a bit because we're for yoga, yeah. so we like to be, we're anthropomorphic animals, so we want to change the names to those. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how we get ourselves in a position for the standing, because that's very very, 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 very important. And it, uh, it makes the difference between getting a little workout and getting a huge workout out. So, I want you guys to kind of grip your toes into the mat as much as you can. So, this, this ground is your center. This ground is, I don't want you lifting off this ground. So, uh, from here, I want you to kind of get your legs a little tight and push in your glutes. So, this is what we call a lock position. So, from here, if you notice my legs, I'm not moving my arm much. I can't, I can't really get much movement on that. That's how I want you. I want you centered. So this is called, this is called our lock position. So from here, I want you to make your spine nice and long. I want you to put your paws up. Perfect. I like to call this a cabbage stretch. Now if you watched us on previous furry yoga, this is how we start every single session. It's because this gives us a great workout. So I want you to take a deep breath in all the way up. All the way up. Beautiful. Now take a deep breath out. Bring it to a T. Beautiful. All right. Take a deep breath in. Bring it back up. We're going to do this a few times. Bring it down. Back up. Okay, from here, I want you to bring it in. Put your hands together. We're gonna make like kind of like a star or a diamond. I like to call this furry star. Okay, and like like I said, if Rip feels like you're struggling, sees uh, you're struggling at all, uh, Rip will go around and help you. So take a deep breath in. Bring it down. And just for fun, because we like to have fun here in yoga, we kind of like. Flex it a little bit. Walk it up. Show that strength. All right, bring it back for attention. Shake it off. All right, roll your arms a little bit. Get a nice stretch in. How's everyone feeling? I don't know. All right, so. Oh, yes. All right. All right. So, what we just did is we got ourselves in what I like to call our fat burn zone. So, if I was wearing my watch right now, I'd say 110. I'm going to keep you guys there. And you're going to be staying there for the rest of the day. So no matter what you do here, whatever you do at AnthroCon, you're going to have so much energy, you're going to burn off, and you're going to feel great after. Okay, so, uh, anyone go to the gym? Anyone go to the gym at all? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Anyone go to the gym? 
Anyone proficient with like weightlifting, like dumbbells? I want to know if it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can create your own dumbbells. Yeah, your own dumbbells with your own body weight. Because this is the beauty about yoga. We shift our bodies, and our bodies are so incredible, and we're going to unlock some potential. So, I want you guys to lock yourselves back into place. So get those feet in the back, and get that butt nice and tight. Okay, so I want you to bring your arms out, okay? I want your palms nice and flat. Okay, so I want you to clench your fists, and we're going to use something I call dynamic resistance. So, we're going to basically shift our body into our arms. So stretch your arms out as much as you can. If you're feeling some strain, good. If you're shaking, it's working. That's what I like to always say. So, we're going to bring it in. Yeah, you know, Rift. All right, so let's bring it in. Three, two, one. And if you're shaking, Good, you're unlocking muscles. Three, two, one. Bring it back in. Three, two, one. Push it back out. Three, two, one. I know you got one more in you. Let's go. Three, two, one. Push it back out. Three, two, one. Beautiful, shake it off. You feel that in your arms a little bit? You just created your own dumbbells. And believe me, I've gained so much muscle off of just doing these moves. So now, we're going to work on our triceps. Very, very similar. So get yourself nice and locked into the mat. And I want you to just go into a T. All right. Remember, always concentrate on your breathing, whatever we do here. So I want you to bring in your tries. Three, two, one. It's almost like you're flexing a little bit. Three. Two, one, bring it back in. Three, two, one. I hear someone over breathing over there. Yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one, good. Shake it off. Beautiful. How are you feeling, Rhett? I'm feeling strong. All right. I want you to, I want you to introduce a move. Let's, let's bounce back and forth a little bit here. So, all right, so we've done our arms, but we haven't really done our back yet. So yes. let's do some forward folds. So again, a 10, jump. All right. Okay, first off, roll your neck a little bit, only to the point that there's no pain. Maybe just rock back and forth. What I like to say, if you were here on Fridays, so use your nose like there's a strain pulling it, and maybe pause on one side and tilt your head one way or the other. You will feel tightness that you did not know was there. Linger on that. Just kind of rock around it. And when you're ready, we're going to come back with your head up center, shoulders nice and back, and you're going to fold over, but like with a flat back. So you stop halfway. This is your flat back. Let your arms dangle, and then you're going to do your forward fold. Bend your knees a little bit and let that head go. Shake it back and forth. If you really want a good workout, put your hands behind your ankles. You'll feel that shake. So you can put your hands behind your ankles for a stretch. You can grab your elbows and be loose. That's called ragdoll and shake it. You want to make this practice yours. You do not have to look like us. You should not look like us. We yeah. are all different. Find the stretches during this practice that work for you. All right, so from here, why don't we do a gorilla pose? Okay. Take your palms, and if you can, put them below your feetsies and try to get your toes to your wrists. And that gives you an even cooler stretch. So bending your knees will give you a more of a stretch, and you can straighten to get a different stretch. And if you shake your tail, make yoga your own. If you find bending is a little bit easier, do it. Yep, do what works for you, and then shake your tail. Maybe that will give you a nice lower back stretch. Great for when you're sitting too long. Then release that gorilla. Maybe roll your wrists a little bit here. Shake that head out again. Yes, no, let it go. And then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, with a little bend in your knees. Start to roll up. Back to standing. Beautiful. All right. I want to work on our sides a little bit. So, but first, please, if you need some water, grab some water. Um, I don't want anyone dying of dehydration here. Water so, break. Water, this is this is a 10 second water break, which uh, if any of you have watched for yoga, um, you're used to that. We kind of do. We, we hydration is important. We I can't stress that enough. So. Please, for the love of God, if you need water, please grab it. I do not want you dehydrated. So we're going to work on our sides. I like to call these cabin sides. 
and uh, they're going to be working our abs, we're going to be working our, our hips, and uh, a little bit of our back and spine too. So this is, this is a great move. Um, we're going to be doing two variations of it. So I'm going to be doing mine, and I'm going to be doing riffs, because both uh, give you completely different benefits, and both are just really good for you. So let's lock ourselves into place again. All right. I like hearing that stomach. That's beautiful. All right. Good stop, please. <laughs> So let's bring our palms out again. We're gonna take a deep breath in. We're gonna do breath first, version first. So now from here, I just want you to rock it back left and right. Right here, we're working our hips, which this is such a good workout. Um, you will basically you should be feeling this in your spine, your hips, your back. Okay. Now from here. I want you to take your right paw and drop it 12 at 6. Concentrate on your breathing when you're doing this. Believe me, breathing's important. Okay, bring it to a T. Back up. Let's do the left side now. 12 and 6. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's hold it for another four, three, two, one. Bring it to a T, shake it off. All right. How's everyone feeling? Everyone doing good? Everyone doing good? Beautiful. All right, good. Where are we, where are we taking them next? Yeah, you don't have to put me on the spot, Buzz. <laughs> let's do some lunges. Oh, All right, so again, listen to your suit. Listen to your body. If you cannot do a certain pose, feel free to stand and breathe. Again, in that nice, strong stance. So for our lunges, first we're going to take one nice little claw. We're going to lift your foot. Try to do a little balance and roll that ankle. Oh, right? This also really helps your balance. And then kind of lean into your lunge. So forward lunge. So there's two ways you could do a lunge. You can either, this is more advanced, and we don't expect a lot of you to be able to. Hold your hands down if you feel like you need balance. But you can also drop a knee. Yes, there Please are drop lots. a knee if you need to. Dropping a knee is a lot easier, and this is how actually most of us started, is from a knee. So I'll show you the knee position here. So just get that stretch in. And please, breathe while you're doing this. Breathe while you're doing this. Again, you can do a high lunge where you're much higher. You can do a low lunge where your back foot goes much lower. You can bend that knee. You really want your hips to be facing parallel and forward. It will give you a different stretch, noticing your hips. You want that, uh, if you're lunging, you can have your heel up. Your toes should both be facing forward. If you're on your knees, you can tuck that toe or you can let that toe out towards the back. Here, actually. Which that's actually really important. Hey, can you get back on the, the side? Can you get back in the lunge for a second? Because I want to actually show this because this is so important. So, um, it all comes back to the back footing. So if you guys find that you're having a little hard difficulty uh, balancing, it's more than likely your back foot. So yes, see this, this is a perfect. And then when you're in this position, yeah, lay forward or, yeah, see? Our, uh, how your legs is just perfectly here. So that is basically your center. So um, if you're wobbling a little bit, definitely do that. All right, now switch sides now. Yes. Remember, first you're gonna balance and roll that ankle a little bit. I mean, don't injure your ankle, just give it a roll. <laughs> Final lunge on the other side. Maybe you're gonna notice it goes a different way. And if you keep switching that knee back, you're gonna get into what's called lizard pose. Lizard pose, you're getting really low and that's a really big stretch under your groin. If you hold it for over a minute, it's called dragon pose. <laughs> But again, go to what distance works for you. I am super bendy, so I can go like this. <laughs> and I am not. Mm -hmm. Everyone, has, you guys to everyone the has their own stretch. Mine works for you. And if you do it on this side really deep, make sure to switch to the other side. I'm going to do that now. All right. <laughs> you get that stretch in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Love Running it, is good. Love it. Love it. How are you doing over there? We both sit. Good, good, good. Are we getting back to standing pose? Yeah, but I think we're going to be going, I think we're going to transition to the ground soon. Okay, so 
Okay. Challenge pose, which is exactly what Rev's doing right here. This is really good for your back. So um, you can actually rely on this uh, in your pretty much your everyday life. I, I used to be a tech support. And I would actually do this when my back was hurting from just sitting in the chair for hours. So uh, you can rely, you don't have to do yoga to do this move. This move is just really good for your back, honestly. Your knees can be together or apart. Your, and your knees can be together or apart, and you'll actually get a separate, different kind of uh, burn for that. So this is going to go around just checking on everyone here. And uh, if they feel like you need to adjust a little bit, they're going to come around and help. And, Believe me, if you're struggling at all, like I said, me or Rip can come around to you guys and help you out. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be good. We're, once we get another 30 seconds of this, we're going we're gonna to get up and transition to the ground with a cabin squat. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rip knows. Rip knows exactly where we're going. So, all right. So, get another like 10 seconds here. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, get down, get up on the ground, guys. Right? Yeah. Oh, I bet. I bet. Are you guys in there? Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing this for how long? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Doesn't being warmer make you burn more calories? Yes and no. Really depends on what you're doing. Like, for this, Yes, but uh, if you're just sweating and not really doing much, uh, no, but then it's a bit of a mis misconception, but definitely uh, if you're sweating, it's, it's definitely working. You're unlocking a lot of uh, different muscles. So we, uh, like much in yoga, we transition to everything, so we're going to transition into the ground, but we do a thing I call a cabin squat, which is very similar. So how many of you guys know actually how to do a proper squat? You, you, perfect, so some of you actually know. So, because there's actually um, a specific way you're supposed to do it, and not a lot of people actually do. So a lot of people who first start this program actually do the squat wrong. So, so I'm gonna like narrate while I, uh, while I perform the break. All right, so first off, again, you wanna start with a nice standing position. Your feet, this time instead of being really close together, you wanna widen that stance. Again, listen to your joints, your hips, your knees, your ankles, especially. You're stitching. <laughs> you're stitching. <laughs> listen to your suit and your body. So you're taking your arms out, shoulders back and down while you're in that position, nice and strong. Start to bend your knees as you're going down really slowly, keeping those arms out. And go to the limit that your tail will let you get towards the ground. Don't go as far as I'm going if you are not as flexible. You okay. will fall. You do not have to be sitting on the ground, but if it's easier, that way, sit on the ground. Uh, and again, you can take those arms out. You can also pull them into your heart center. You can put them behind your back. You can do whatever works for you. If you are aware of buzzes, you can put your elbows on your knees and press, no, put your elbows, like hands together, okay. elbows on your knees, and then use your elbows to push your knees a little wider. How are you guys doing this with flat feet? That's a, that is an anatomy question. Not, How do you not, do this with flat feet? So, Some people have the anatomy for their ankles to bend all the way. Some do not, and it matters in childhood as you're growing up. So if you can't have flat feet, you do not have to have flat feet. But at the same time, too, um, it comes down to flexibility. Yes. So years ago, I wasn't able to get my feet that flat. Um, now I can. So the more you keep doing this, it may work. It may work. It may not. But work. don't don't expect it to work. But sometimes you get lucky, like me and Rip, and uh, yeah, you get you get super flexible like that. Nice, so, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. If you're doing this at home and you have a block or a towel or something, you can sit on that, and that yeah. will help you to stretch for a longer time. That's actually really important. So um, don't be afraid to use a stool or a block or anything that you need. Like always, 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 I encourage using assistance. So when I first started yoga, I actually used a stool for a lot of the moves that I do. Uh, especially when we're getting to the ground ones, because a lot of the ground ones are uh, a little difficult here. So now I've dropped my bum, my tail's on the ground, and okay. I'm doing a windshield wipers with my hips, because we just worked our hips really good, everybody. So all you're doing is you're leaning back, now watch your wrists here, but you can just rock those hips back and forth. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right, we're on the floor. All right, we're on the floor. 
Beautiful. So I kind of want to do what you did yesterday, which I let you explain before we put her. All right, so we got lots of options when you're seated. Um, so what Fuzz is doing is an inverted lotus. You can just sit crisscross applesauce, or if you have that flexibility in your knees and feet, you can put them together and cross them upside down. This is a big knee move. Uh, crisscross applesauce is totally fine. And if you notice there's a natural way to crisscross, try to put the other leg on top in crisscross, and you will have a very different stretch, especially in your lower back. Now, if Fuzz is showing up and can bounce on his hip bones, if you're with me, why don't we just try to fold over, keeping those hips down. Notice that lower back stretch. Go as low as you want. You can take those hands out. This is like child's pose, except your hips are in a different position. And if you want, you can go into child's pose instead, if it feels better. Make this practice yours. Exactly. Make yoga your own. Always, always make yoga your own. Okay. I want to know, um, how many of you can touch your toes? Yeah? Okay, let's show. Say it slower. Touch your toes. And then you can stretch your toes. Uh, no. Alright, show me. So we're gonna we're gonna do both feet here, alright? And we're gonna just go as far as you can. If you get a touch it, it's fine. You will in time. Especially if you stick with this program. So I'm only doing one hand here because I got a microphone in the other. Usually we have uh, wireless mics, but uh, yeah, the it's a little different. So here you go. You can bend your knees. Totally fine. Yeah, if you have to bend, if you have to bend, go for it. You can bend your back. If you're there, you can also let that neck go. Maybe roll your head back and forth again. And when you're doing this, once you come back to stillness, a way to continue to increase your flexibility, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Let's go back to the breathing. Remember that it's okay to bend your knees. Always breathe. And if you can only go a little bit, that's all right too. All right, from, from one leg, I want you to just put one leg under the other one and do a right one first. And I want you to notice something here. So when you're doing this, this is a little easier. I'm noticing a lot of you are touching your toes now that I've worked when you're doing both. This will get easier at time. You are activating a lot of muscles that you haven't been using in a long time. And this is the beauty thing about yoga is uh, your bodies are incredible. And you guys don't know it yet. You will at time. Uh, me and Rick are very in tune with our bodies now. So I want you to switch to the other leg. So left leg. And like I said, notice how it's a lot easier to do one leg over it is the other. So, and like Rick said, if you need to bend your leg a bit just to get to your toes, please do it. Um, make yoga your own. Make it, make it your own. All right. Activating body muscles. Here you go. All right. 
Do you want to do some abs? <laughs> do, do they want to do some abs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do some abs. I was actually going to do a, I, I kind of wanted to do a plank. Let's, uh, let's do arms and then abs. Okay, let's do arms and then abs. Y'all are in trouble. We're doing arms and then abs. Oh, no. I told you I'm going to make you sweat today. All right, All right so where are we going from here? We're going to uh, tabletop? Yep. Let's go to tabletop when you're ready. Now notice your knees here. You all don't have padding like us, so this may or may not be super comfy. Again, this is what works for you. So you're on your hands and knees. Your knees should be under your hips. Let's pull your knees up about an inch. Yeah. There you go. And you want to have your paws underneath your shoulders. Maybe do some cat cow here. What do you call these paws? Uh, cow arches. Cat arches. So you're arching your back. So, so I want you to take a deep breath in with take your neck to your chest. Take a deep breath in with your neck to your chest. And then we take a deep breath in. Push that butt out and make your neck nice and straight. So when you're breathing in, you're arching your back so your belly gets close to the ground. And on your exhale, you're going to arch your back and move that spine towards the sky. Good. Put your chin to your neck and then we're going to repeat this. So you're moving your neck, your chin, and your tailbone. Getting that nice stretch in. And again, if you feel like you've got to do something else in this position, do that. Also, on your wrist, you may want to go on the fists that's easier on your wrist. You may want to rotate those wrists. If you have your fingers facing towards you, you're going to get a nice stretch if you're at the computer a lot. Very good gamer stretch. Yeah, with those fingers pointing towards you. If it feels good. Now, one other thing to note as you're doing this, some people have the ability to bend more in their elbows than they should, the hyperextension. Yeah. If you do that, please be aware and do not get into that hyperextension stance. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're going to get into our plank pose. Okay, so. Again, if it works for you, you can keep your knees down, but if so you are okay. buzz. We're going to show you two ways you can do a plank. And again, anyone, and I, I preached this all yesterday. Do you have to make this up? You got it. Perfect. And I preached this all yesterday. So, um, anyone who's telling you you're doing this plank wrong is wrong. You should stop listening to them because your body is your body and you adjust to the way you do. So, from <laughs> here. Yeah, so Rick can hold the mic near me. So, I want you guys, so there's two ways you could do a plank here. So, very similar, you want your shoulders and your hands perpendicular to your knees. So there's two things you could do. You could either do it from here, or you could just drop a knee. See, now, this, a lot of trainers will be like, you're cheating. That's you're not, not cheating. You are not cheating. You notice how my spine is nice and long. My back and my spine are perpendicular with each other. This is the same thing as I get from this. There is no difference. The only difference is it's your body. Yeah. Work it the way that you want. Yeah, yeah so work your body. We're gonna work, we're gonna hold this for five, and then we're gonna drop down. So I like to call this armadillo because armadillos get low to the ground. So we're gonna do like a push-up. We're gonna hold this for three, two, one. Notice that burn, just drop. I want you to just drop. Drop completely to the ground. I want your hands and your feet nice and flat. So what you just did was basically the equivalent of four push-ups in one. Nice. And I know so, someone here next to us is dead on the ground there. <laughs> All right. So from here, I want to do a thing I, call, I like to call cobra because we're coming up like a cobra. So I want you to take a deep breath in. Your hands are still under your shoulders. Hands still under your shoulders. And I want you to just... Get as far back as you can. Get that spine. Get if this is too tight back. on your spine, you can keep your elbows bent and stay lower. Notice yeah, your lower back. If you need to bend lower, bend lower. Again, make yoga your own. We keep preaching that, and you're going to hear me say that so many times, and especially if you watch us live. But I can't stress it enough. Make yoga your own. Make it fun. Make it entertaining. Yoga is supposed to be relaxing. So, it's supposed to be relaxing, but it's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> and rehabilitating. I like to do, we like to do both. So we're going to be going into a zen like near the end, but I want to get a few more in. So from here, I just want you to bring your back back. And do a child's pose or another resting pose. Now if, you, if your shoulders are a little tight from that, take your paws or your hands and reach back and try to grab your ankles or your feet. This will give you a nice shoulder rest. Ah. Wherever you are. Yeah. All right. Um, I think this is a good time 
You can maybe get into the Zen part of this. So Let's have a, a quick water break and then we'll talk about some Zen stuff and then abs, I promise. Hydration. Hydration. Run some water, please. We're going to work on some abs. We're then we're going to end it off with some Zen like, because again, yoga has so many different benefits. And we like to end for a yoga on a nice, calm, and relaxing. Beautiful. All right, you guys are all doing great, by the way. We seriously appreciate you all being with us. All right. So, uh, we're going to let you take it from here. Oh, we're doing abs? Okay. So, again, this is with the caveat, listen to your body, listen to your costume. If you weren't here with us Friday, both Fuzz and I have had abdominal surgery oh. in the last six months. Oh. So, just a little brief rundown. I'll say what happened to me and you can say what happened. So, I actually, um, about maybe, I think like 45 days ago, I actually died twice in the hospital, guys. Oh, so, um, I'm actually dealing with a hernia right now. And you notice how it hasn't slowed me down at all, and I could actually thank this program for that. But, um, I ended up dying twice in the hospital from a failed hernia surgery because the mesh in my body ended up failing me and ended up cutting three arteries. I died on the operating table twice, and it took about seven surgeons to uh, save my life. I had 28 staples in my stomach about 45 days ago, and uh, now I stand before you feeling no pain whatsoever in my stomach. I don't even feel my body on it. That was amazing. And it's just, it, 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 it comes down to this program and what, what we do. Um, yoga is a, such an amazing tool, and I hope you guys have been getting really a lot of benefit from it, but uh, that's a little history on me. Uh, I, like I said, I almost, I died twice. I came back. I had, I had 28 staples removed, and I'm better than ever. I'm much stronger than ever. And I sit right now actually at 154, and I lost, I actually lost 15 pounds while I was in recovery. So, um, and it's because of this program. I was still doing my yoga, even though uh, it hurt me because of staples. But guys, seriously, yoga has so many benefits. So that's for me. I don't know about Rick, too, but Rick can give you a little what's going on with Bob. All right, yeah, so again, for me, uh, I saw this tag at the vendor's hall. It says feral and sterile. <laughs> and that's what happened to me. I got sterilized after that Roe versus Wade snip through. I was like, I'm done and I am out. And I had complications in my surgery as well. It took me about three or four months to get back into it. And I'll be honest, after recovery, my eggs are stronger than they were before because I really focused on yoga. Chair yoga especially, you can do yoga in a chair. I've got videos on my YouTube about that. Again, we're doing designs where you can just sit in your chair and do what you can do. And I couldn't do much at the beginning, but you know I did yoga every day, even if it was just my arms and not twisting at all. And so that really has helped me to get stronger. So I'm gonna show you some ab moves. Again, do what works for you. So in your seat in here, again, let's get nice and straight. Take a big breath in and exhale out. Get that blood pump again. One more big breath in. And let it go. All right, so we're going to show you lots of different ways to do it. First off, we're going to take our feet, put them out in front of us. So you are now getting onto your tailbone. You're going to notice maybe you've got to shift some flesh or some tail or something behind you. <laughs> and if this is all you can do, that's great. The next move you can do is called Love Knot, where you pull your knees in and you're balancing on your tailbone. And if you can hug those knees in, that is good enough. Engage that core and you are doing ab work. All right, another thing that you can do is you can let those legs go out and you can hold behind your knees if you want. So you're doing like a little crunch or floating. This is your boat. You can let go of the, let those arms float. And then, a lot harder to do this. Though. And then if you are really strong, you can straighten those legs, stay nice like a bee, take those arms forward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, crunch it in. Again, you can let go at any time. If you need to grab behind your knees, that's our resting pose. But we're going to hold this pose. Find the boat that works for you, keeping those abs nice and engaged. All right, from here, you're going to do, you want to hold the mic for me? I'll demo you. don't have to do it. All right, so we've got our boat, whichever position it is, we're going to go into our low boat. So we're going to row the boat by lowering down, floating your shoulders and your feet. Holding it at the bottom without letting those shoulders or feet touch for four, three, two, one. Pull it up. Let's oh, go. Gosh. Let's go. Oh, Pull it up. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Pull it up. All right, ready? Oh, Drop your right leg. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Feel that, bro. Feel it. Again, take a breath. 
Take a break anytime. Switch! <laughs> oh, Sorry, switch. Yeah, you were ready for this. Drop it all the way down. You know what? Since you're here, why don't you show them how to do it? What the heck is you all the pause. Okay, so from here, we're gonna, I want you guys just on the ground, nice and flat. I want you to take your hands. I want you to put them on your belly. We're gonna, we're gonna do some really deep breaths in here. So I want you to take a big deep breath and fill that stomach full of air. Hold it. Okay. Now when you exhale, I want you to just crunch it a little bit, like crunch your stomach in. You're working, you're working your abs and your chest here, and also breathing. So deep breath in, deep breath out, crunch it, beautiful. Okay, so now I want to do another variation. So when you take a deep breath in, I kind of want you to bridge it. So if you if you want to watch rift, so take a deep breath in, rift. All right, deep breath in. And then crunch it. So get that butt up as high as you can. High as you can. There you go, I like that over there. I see a lot of you, perfect. Okay, now deep breath out. Put your butt down. You kind of almost like you're doing a sit up a little bit when you go down. So again, I'm gonna hold the mic. I'm gonna do this with you. <laughs> so, all right. Deep breath in. Bridge it. All right. Deep breath out. Let me just crunch that out a little bit. All right. One more time. Deep breath in. We're working our spine, our abs, our back. So many things here. Deep breath out. All right. Oh, stay down. <laughs> stay down. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's untwist here. We got our microphone all around here. All right. All right. So from here, if you want, we're going to do some twists. Oh, this is yeah. going to really let you find out. So again, drop your feet down. Oh, and what we're going to do is you're going to pull in your right knee. Give it a hug if you can. Again, as far as your body, your outfit, your costume, everything works. Maybe roll that ankle here. Oh, I'm and, on the left and then when you're ready, you're going to twist and guide that knee across your body, keeping the shoulders down to get into your side twist. Keeping that other foot extended. And again, if you don't want to do it that way, you can do whatever feels good for you. Maybe both knees in. It's really what works for your spine. Yeah, and I see some folks extending that opposite arm out like a T. You can do both out like a T, whatever works for you. And again, if you twist your neck one way, looking one direction, it'll give you a different stretch. If you look the other direction, maybe your neck needs that. Breathe here. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe twist a little more. So we're starting to cool down. Y'all have been doing yoga now for 40 minutes. Can you believe it? <laughs> and, and so when you're ready, we're going to have you draw that knee up and switch to the other side while Fuzz does some narration. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you, you need to get yours in too. Yeah. So, like Rip says, just drop that knee, get it in nice and tight and in, as much as you can. Don't drop, don't overstrain yourself. Oh, we, yeah. Then we don't, yeah, see, there you go, right? There, you need that. All right, so like, I, like Rip says, get that knee in as much as you can. Um, if you if you need to adjust, please adjust. We don't want you hurting yourselves. That's not the point of yoga. Yoga is not supposed to hurt you. It's supposed to help you. <laughs> so we're gonna keep doing this for about another like 20, 30 seconds. I want you guys just to feel that stretch. We're we're cooling down off here. We're gonna be doing a lot of breathing stuff for the next couple of minutes. I just want to stay down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip just wants to stay down on the ground the whole time. But unfortunately, Rick has to be. Unfortunately, we okay. have to teach. Uh, we gotta show them the furry yoga warrior pose. This is like a really standard thing. Oh, it's really yeah. good for you. The furry yoga warrior pose. So, 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 you can do this. Okay, so first untwist 
and you're going to find yourself back to seated if you are comfortable. If you just want to stay laying down at this point, go right ahead. Okay. Okay. So, from here, this is a meditation pose. And like we said, um, yoga has a lot of benefits, rehabilitation, muscle growth, weight loss, and also zen, and just relaxation. So that's what we're going to do here. So I want you to take both your paws here. I want you to take this paw, and I want you to put it forward here. I want you to take this paw, and I want you to clench your fist, and I want you to just kind of put a little pressure into your fist here. Not too much pressure, but just enough that you feel it. Okay, and I want you to, I want you to just bring those hands into your chest. So your spine is nice and straight, shoulders back and down. Look at that posture change, y'all. Good, good changes. Good. So now, I just want you to take a deep, deep breath in, and we're going to keep deep breathing in and out for the next two minutes here. So uh, this is how we like to end our sessions off all the time. And this uh, kind of helps us cool down. So take a deep breath in. Put that neck all the way up. So like look to the roof. That really helps. Exhale, right there. Let's go back up. you be pressing your fist into your palm? Or? Yes, yes, you want to press it just a little bit. Not too much pressure, but just enough. And I see some of you are doing like the prayer hands. You can do that too. Do whatever works for you. Again, make yoga your own. If you don't want to raise your, your neck each time you breathe, you don't have to, especially if it feels uncomfortable. All we're doing is trying to find your center here. Okay, one more time. Deep breath in. a better cooling breath, especially if you're in a fur suit. Now, if you're not in a suit, you might think you look silly. Don't worry, we're all going to do it together. <laughs> so staying in that same seated position. Can you twist your tongue into like a straw, like that little, little circle? If you can, inhale through your nose, exhale through the little straw. Inhaling. You can feel the air moving through your body. It seems wild, but if any of y'all watch Demon Slayer, they have those breaths for a reason. Heating and cooling breaths, and that's a nice cooling breath. All right, let's do that one more time. Okay. Should we, uh, should we end them off here with a little bit of a calf stretch? Let's do it. Nice and long. Okay, so Rick's going to do our final stretch here. And it's almost like a, like, like, like a resting position, but we're just going to... So I want you to get in your, in your table position, and I want you to just bend back. And as you're bending back, I want you to pull forward as much as you can. We're going to get our spine nice and long here. Take deep breaths in. Now, when you breathe back in, let's do it one more time. I like to pretend like I'm a cat. I like to claw, I call this clawing it out. You're partly cat. You I tell you I'm partly cat, so it makes sense. Bring it in. And you know what? We do this all the time, just for fun. Slot that ground, you know what? You're just a fucking furry yoga. Give yourselves a round of applause. Seriously.